You know, it is December 31st and we're entering the new year once again with a lot of uncertainty thanks to the new COVID variant. We don't know a lot about it, but you know, every medical expert is saying it's much, much, much milder than the Delta variant. We're going to be discussing this and more with uh, Professor Manindra Agarwal uh, from IIT, Kan uh, IIT Kanpur. Uh, thank you, Professor, for joining us here on December 31st. Um, thank you for being live on Closing Trades. Uh, you know, there is obviously a lot of uncertainty. And as has been the case since 2020, and it's so unfortunate, there's a lot of misinformation that is out there. As India gets ready for the precautionary booster shot, uh, beginning January 9th for senior citizens and the first dose for children aged between 15 and 18, we were very keen to have you on the channel today. So we'll begin with first, um, you know, your initial observations when it comes to the new variant uh, started in South Africa and you have done some very interesting analysis between the Indian population and what we've seen earlier in South Africa. Yeah, thank you for uh, inviting me to the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, South Africa and India are similar in some crucial respects. Uh, firstly, if you look at the age profile of the population, that is quite similar. Also, if you look at the natural immunity in the population, that's also very similar. Here, natural immunity means those people who have been infected in the past and have recovered. thereby developing immunity. This is different from the vaccine-induced immunity. So Omicron is known to bypass uh, vaccine-induced immunity very significantly, but not as much of natural immunity. So we are kind of hopeful that what happened in South Africa, uh, something similar would happen in uh, India. and which would imply if that is that hope is correct that it will imply that we will probably not get impacted much but let's wait and see so can you share with us and our viewers more importantly the projections that you have when it comes to the new variant yes it is milder there are many that believe that this is the endemic there are reports that say that those who even go to the hospital are only being given multivitamins as well as uh, paracetamol those who have been double vaccinated or even have the booster shot are getting it what is your projection for what's going to happen in india given where the case load is today and given the fact that delta has not been completely wiped out our um, estimate uh, and this is Uh, just an estimate based on what has happened in South Africa and believing that uh, something similar will happen in India. Based on these assumptions, our estimate is that uh, the peak of this wave will arrive sometime in February at somewhere around 2 lakh cases per day. And uh, then it will dissipate quite rapidly. Uh, the hospitalization requirements will be significantly less than the last wave and uh, we don't based on again as i said uh, the south africa information and certain assumptions uh, the hospital bed requirement will probably be like top out at around 1 lakh beds so but these are as i said very early days these are mere projections when we are our, through our model able to capture the trajectory of this third wave then we will be able to make better predictions right now we are just making some uh, educated projections Professor Agarwal, you know, part of those projections, or I should say conjecture, if I can use that word, is also whether or not a booster dose is really necessary or not to try and uh, tackle Omicron. Because you know, one is hearing and one knows for a fact of many cases of people who who are double vaccinated, who've got the booster dose as well via their travels abroad, and are still getting uh, the virus right now. Uh, I don't know if you can throw really some light on whether or not a booster is really necessary. So, uh, firstly, we must understand that Omicron is bypassing vaccine-induced immunity very significantly, and as you rightly observed, that many people who are double or triply vaccinated are catching this infection. So, uh, the vaccine. at a first glance vaccines don't seem to provide protection but that's not quite true uh, vaccines 
may not protect you from infection, but they do protect you from serious illness. And that is important. And that's why I believe it's a correct decision taken by the government of India that those, uh, especially healthcare workers and other critical uh, workers who have been vaccinated long time ago, um, by so their immunity uh, would have already dissipated to an extent, they may be given a booster dose so that uh, the immunity levels go up again. Professor Agarwal, you know, there are also many states because of the New Year celebrations and festivities out. They're putting a lot of uh, uh, curbs as well as restrictions in place. We just heard, you know, earlier this week, Delhi issue a yellow alert. While they may be precautionary measures and while Omicron surely may be more transmissible but not as severe as the Delta variant, but do you think those are the right steps that most state governments need to take at this point in time? See, for uh, a, any administrator, uh, especially given the experience of the last wave, uh, they will adopt a cautious approach towards this upcoming wave. So it's quite understandable that they will impose uh, some kind of restrictions. But in my personal view, uh, there is no need to go beyond imposing some restrictions. Uh, the case for imposing a strict lockdown doesn't exist as of today. And uh, I don't think anybody is contemplating that as of now. Um, if the situation changes in future, then uh, it can be reviewed. But uh, again, my estimation is that we may not encounter such a situation. Professor, before we let you go, just based on the study that you have done and what you have come out with, uh, I know Aisha asked you with respect to vaccinations, but the new variant, what does it do for all of our immunity? Whether we have um, vaccines, whether we've had COVID of any variant in the past, or it's a case of hybrid? So... Uh... It's uh, well established that hybrid immunity provides the strongest protection. And uh, even against Omicron, it is believed that uh, those who have hybrid immunity are quite unlikely to get infected. Maybe there are some may still get infected, but most of them won't. With natural immunity, the uh, data from South Africa shows that uh, most of the people with natural immunity uh, manage to avoid getting infected. Uh, with respect to only vaccine immunity, uh, well, unfortunately, most of the people with just vaccine immunity tend to get infected. But like I said, there is still a silver lining that uh, the severity is not there. In fact, if one looks at the hospitalization data of Omicron all over the world, the numbers are really small compared to the Delta wave. So far, the signs have been encouraging in the sense that uh, the new variant is far milder. However, ladies and gentlemen, it's still time to stay home, stay masked up. Even if you can't stay home, take all the necessary precautions. Uh, you know, let's see how this goes on. But Professor, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for joining us live today on Closing Trades.